a while back, a little girl came to see me. She complained to me that she's feeling very angry and upset over many incidents that has been happening to her over the past few months. So I asked her to elaborate and tell me the story. So she replied that she is angry and upset because people have been disturbing her. I asked her again, how have they been disturbing you? So she replied, she says that, oh, uh, they have been taking my things without permission. I asked her, what things are they? Say, oh, uh, my toys, my books, my pencil case. I said, oh. I asked her, how does she handle the situation? What does she do? What does she say? So she told me she solves the problem by taking something from the ground and throwing it at them. I said, oh dear, does that really solve the problem? She says, yes, because after that, they never bother her again. But I asked her again, I said, um, do you hurt anybody? She says, yes, some of them, uh, one of the boys have an injured eye. Say, oh dear, that's bad because you don't want to injure others. They, they might get angry with you. It's not good for you, right? Also, to be like a bad person, you want to be a good person. He says, but they're, they're the one who started it. Disturb me first. So I asked her, I said, would you like to know a better way to solve the problem? She says, I already have a better way. I said, that's great. Can you share with me what's your idea? She says, I can yell at them. I said, oh, is that a good, is that a better way? She says, yes, in that way, they will not be hurt because I'll just be screaming at them. I said, do you think it will work out? She says, of course, because they'll be afraid of me. They will not touch my things again. So I told her, I said, hmm, but don't you think you will, you will hurt your own self? She says, how can I hurt myself? So you'll be yelling, you might hurt your throat, you might not be able to speak well the next day, you might not be able to sing your favorite songs, you might not be able to eat well. She, says, she thought for a moment, she says, yeah, maybe, yes, you're right. So I asked her, would you like to know a better way? She says, yes, please share it with me. So I told her, next time when you're angry, or if someone takes your stuff without permission, Instead of looking at the person and throwing something at them, straight away I would like you to look at your own palms, at your own hands, back, front and back. She says, oh, what do I look for? I said, just, just notice your wonderful colored nails. Wow, they're so colorful. She says, she sees that every day. So it doesn't matter. Maybe today they might be a, a bit more shiny. Just okay. I said, just look at them. And after a few seconds, I want you to look into the sky. She says, but I'm indoors. It doesn't matter. I say, just pretend that there are fluffy white clouds above you. Just look for a few seconds. I say, after that, then look at that particular person that has taken your stuff without permission and you tell them, I feel angry and upset because you took my stuff without my permission. Can you please not do that again? And leave the room. She says, okay, she'll okay, try that out. So after she left, she tried out this technique a few times and her parents told me that it didn't work out for, for the first couple of weeks. She still got back to a usual pattern of throwing things because it was, it was already a habitual thing. So it took her about a couple of months before she started getting used to the technique. And I heard that after about six months, she's automatically able to actually say, use the assertive language without even looking at her palms and the sky, that, um, the technique that I taught her. So it's good to actually try out techniques and give the, give the um, technique that you have suggested time to work. Because these things, like old habits die hard. So it might take some time depending on how long that other habit has been ingrained in them. So do not give up on a particular technique or habit. Give it some time. Uh, 
put it down in your record like okay let's give this couple of weeks and you find out from your client okay has this worked if it's not worked can we find out why have you done it exactly the way which i mentioned to you let's tweak it a little bit so give it some time so it's always good to try out different technique i'm glad to share this story with you drop some comments uh, let me know if you'd like to know something else about therapy or love to share. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day. Bye.